Member for Lyons speaks. He closes his debate. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I'd like to thank the, uh, the contribution made by the member for Hyson. And I would have to say up front that I don't necessarily disagree with the sentiments behind the amendment, nor do I disagree with the comments he's made. However, I won't be supporting the amendment, and I would ask the chamber not to support the amendment because of a couple of reasons. First of all, consecutive over recent times, consecutive in fact, the new, the new prime minister have made it very really clear. The new Israeli prime minister have made it clear they do not support a two-state solution. And so, when you have one party who makes it very clear they're not even prepared to actually contemplate it, let alone support it, it makes it very difficult. The two-state solution has been certainly a policy of successive governments, uh, Australian governments, and uh, ultimately that's where the, our, our formal position is. Uh, I'd be less than honest if I would say if that is now a practical, is that practical in the future, given the number of settlements uh, throughout occupied Palestine. That is not to say that Palestinians are not entitled to statehood. It may mean that statehood may have to come into the form, but not necessarily excluding a two-state two solution. Mr Speaker, it's also very important, I think, to, uh, to mention that negotiations to some extent, and the words used by the, the member for Heysen in his amendment have been around for some time. Uh, and and they are certainly worthy and honourable intentions, but it has not actually done anything to resolve the situation in the conflict. And the major thing, Mr Speaker, if you would like to actually make a note of what are the indicators of the parties, you just have to look at the Israeli states continuing and supporting actions in settlements, supporting the settler movement throughout Palestine, and which is occupied, as we know, is occupied by Israel at this time. If the Israeli state was interested at all in a two-state solution or bringing peace, it would actually say no more settlements. It wouldn't have to retreat. It would actually just have to stop moving in on an ongoing basis into Palestine. But that hasn't happened. In fact, its recent move into East Jerusalem, which in international law is actually a special category in itself, East Jerusalem, because it's recognised as being an important place not only for, uh, for Jewish people, Muslims, but also Christians and a whole range of other faiths. And it was always, always meant to be, Jerusalem was always meant to be, until Israel declared its own state, uh, independence, uh, to be an internationally recognised city under UN, perhaps under UN uh, uh, supervision, to, to acknowledge the importance that Jerusalem has in terms of its, its place for a whole range of peoples. So while I Mr Speaker, and not unsympathetic to the words expressed by the member for Heysen, I think they are, do represent, in my opinion, a retreat with the intention of the motion. The intention of the motion is to make it quite clear what is happening in Israel, Israel uh, what is happening in Palestine today, and I think it's very important that we recognise that. It also recognises that, uh, that the fact that the Palestinian people uh, are if you like, the weaker party in any negotiations. And the only way we're going to redress that is that by actually uh, supporting uh, statehood for Palestine. And Mr Speaker, I would correct the member on one thing where he asserts that unilateral action to acknowledge the state of Palestine would be um, not helpful. 134 countries including the United Nations itself, including the Vatican, including a number of other nations, and a number of parliaments who have actually passed those resolutions, uh, would suggest that at an international level, people do acknowledge that the state of Palestine, that is, the people of Palestine exist, and there is a state. Um, in terms of the international recognised boundaries, uh, that is quite clear. Resolutions of the UN Security Council are quite clear what the, what the international recognised boundaries of Israel and Palestine are, except one party continues to actually move those boundaries in a different direction to what was intended. So, Mr Speaker, while I'm sympathetic and certainly not uh, uh, in contradiction to what the member for uh, uh, Heysen has suggested, I do not think his motion goes far, far enough and all it does is actually maintains the status quo. And the status quo is that the state of Palestine, or Palestine, 
is disappearing under settlements by the Israeli state, and we must stop that. Question before the chair is that the amendment be agreed to. Is seconded? The question those of the opinion say aye. aye. Against no. no. The noes have it. The noes have it. Division call. Ring the bells.